Tortuga here. Oh! Oof. Go for Amphisub. The Archerfish power disc is done, Chris. You need it? <laughs> Does an Archerfish need water? Ready to teleport. Jimmy! <laughs> uh, huh? Oh. Oops. Sorry, Jimmy. It's just one of those days. Energize and zap it. Okay, Arrow. One more Archerfish is joining this school. Ah. Okay, you got me. I'm coming in. Oh. Activate Archerfish power. So, Arrow, let's give this a shot. See that berry? Watch me knock it into the water. Here goes. Ah. Hmm. Oh, missed. But way closer than my arrows were. Can you show me again, Arrow? Okay, got it. I'll keep practicing. And practicing. And practicing. And practicing. And practicing some more. Wow, that's a hard berry to hit. Come on over here, buddy. Come on. <gasps> oh no, Martin, he's heading straight for something. A girl. Chris, it's a gar. <gasps> Slider, go back. Go back. Get away from that fish. To the creature rescue. Slider doesn't seem to know the danger he's in. Hasn't anybody told him about predatory gars? Oh. <laughs> that was a close one. The gar is one powerful prehistoric predator. No wonder gars have been around since the time of the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Martin? Yes! How was that? Learned it from you. Huh? Huh? Uh, Danita, there's Clog. Fix it, Davio. I fix it. Oh no! I can't hold on. I'm slipping! No! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh, oh, oh. Martin Kratt? What? Pose beam. Oh, delightful. A crown hat fit for a fashion queen. Doesn't it look sharp? Danita, let that fish go. Hey, I'm as uncomfortable as you are, Davio. But Danita, there's a way out of this mess. Just let Puffy go. I'll deflate and get out of here. And believe me, everyone will be much happier. <laughs> Oh, but it's so pretty. Oh, okay. Promise? Yes, yes, I promise. <laughs> okay, now that's a situation I never want to be in again. Let's go, Puffy. Sorry, I had my fingers crossed. See? Well, come on, no fair. Danita, you can't do that. I just did. I'm not giving up my crown. I knew she'd pull something like that. Puffy's a fish. She can't wear him on her head. He needs water, fast. Well, let's get him some. I'm all set. Send me in. Ah. 
Anita, you promised. So? So? So you have to let him go. <laughs> Do not. Because I'm a human and you're a fish. Like I said before, nothing like a water balloon to cool things off on a hot Caribbean day. Blowfish, blow out! Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. No. oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Puppy? Oh, no. You're still stuck in Danita's pose beam. <laughs> That's better. You're free, Puffy. Back to the water. Yeah! Oh, I'm soaked. We're out of here, Davio. This place isn't fit for a fashion queen anyway. Yeah, let's find a crown that doesn't hurt so much. That's a good idea. And leave the reef fish in the water, living free and in the wild. Woohoo! Well, it's almost mission accomplished. Yeah, we saved Puffy from becoming a crown. And we found you guys in 17 quadrillion gallons of water. And we got to know one of the greatest defenders on the reef. <laughs> yeah, just one problem left. We're still miniature. That current could have taken the miniaturizer anywhere. Huh? More crabs, Puffy? The miniaturizer! <gasps> Don't crush it! Ah, sweet! Thanks, puppy! Woo! We're back! All right! Okay, now it's mission accomplished. <laughs> oh, no! I want wood blacker than my sweater. I said blackity black! Blackity black! Zach, stop cutting! Orangutans need these trees for food, shelter, and medicine. These trees are the orangutans' home. Hmm. Hmm. So? They'll move. A tree's a tree. How many more do you need to look at? Keep cutting! Lovecrats! Orangutan power discs! <laughs> We'll hold them for as long as we can. How about some solar flash? Put on sunglasses. We've got to find Hugo. Oh. He knows what's going on. <laughs> I'd say we're just really lucky. You've helped us with your orangutan knowledge. Now, we need your orangutan strength. Activate, Activate orangutan, orangutan powers. powers. Saving the planet with creature powers. Cutting orangutan trees <laughs> Three points! <laughs> That's better. <laughs> orangutan arms are more muscly than a chimpanzee. Strong monkey. Ooh, I wouldn't call him a monkey. He's an ape. What? I didn't know you lived here. <laughs> I don't want a side table anymore anyway. Hey, you! Swing me a vine! Oh. 
Those waves were rough. I think I'm a little seasick. Ah! I lost my shell, my protection. I can't last out here without a shell. The fish, the seagulls. Ah, seagull! I'm not a seagull, I'm Nolan. Woo, but I gotta make a change. Shell, 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 there. Oh wait, your limpets. Limpets? Check your discs. Yes, you made one. Oh, well that's a relief. Activate limpet power. <laughs> that's more like it. Definitely a more stable upgrade. But what are you? What's a limpet? Snail family, right bud? We eat algae off the rocks. See him scrape it up with that rough tongue-like thing? Plenty of algae here in the inner tidal, cause there's plenty of sun for it to grow. So limpets and other creatures are the grazers down here. And check out this foot. It's one giant muscle that suctions onto the rock super strongly. So waves are not a problem. I can hang on tight and be mobile when I want to. And the shell protects you from the waves and predators. Right? You got it. And by my calculations, if I keep moving at limpet speed, I'll arrive at the finish line in perfect timing. Oh yeah, limpets are gonna power me to a win. Eventually. Oh, sorry team. I'm not having much luck in here. None of us are. We gotta think of something else. I got it. <laughs> I know what animal would be great at hockey. You can do it! And I know an animal that would be great at goalie, too. Activate creature power! <laughs> animal powers aren't gonna help you, wild rat! <laughs> Come on, Mutt! Over here, over here! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Creatures have hockey powers. Thanks, Slider. And you too, Timber. Let's get out of here and find some place that has no animals and no wild rats. That's, That's wild cats. Ah, this was a horrible place for a meeting anyhow. I've had enough of your whining for one day. Dabio. Yes, Tanita. Plain now. Uh, who lacks frozen food anyways? What a great game! You guys were all awesome! So, what do you want to do now? Let's play hockey! Until springtime! And then we can see all the pond creatures again! Great, great idea! idea. <laughs> <laughs> over here, over here! Oh, it can't be this easy. <laughs> Help! <laughs> I'm going down! Hmm, this one's different than the rest. Because you're so unique, you will be my crowning jewel. Oh, I'm flattered you think so. I do try to watch what I eat and exercise daily. Hey, wait a minute. I demand you release all these fireflies so they can go back to nature, flashing free and in the wild. It's a noisy one, but extra flashy. Luciferin plus luciferase plus oxygen equals Glow! Coming at you, Chris! Huh. 
I'll stay human-sized. The brighter the glow, the more lightning bugs I'll attract. To the lightning bug rescue! Who would have thought exciting, enchanting, enlightening, and now evening wear? Flash tabulous! Not flash tabulous. Mm -hmm. Ooh, very pretty. Tortuga, we have a problem. Danita's put all the captured fireflies in suspended animation, including myself, and built a dress out of them. How much time do we have? Not long. She's almost ready to leave her mansion. Hurry! Hang in there, bro. I'll be there as soon as I can. Don't move. <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't resist. You've got to hurry, CK. If she gets into that limo and drives off, we'll lose her. You'll never be able to keep up. Fireflies just don't fly that fast. Target located. Plan C, here we go. What is that? Somebody stole my one-of-a-kind firefly fashion idea? Hmm? Chris Kratt? How dare you? Dabio, turn him off now. <gasps> what? Davio! Help! Oh, keep going, bro. It's working. Oh, yeah, we're reading the code. Everybody head that way! No! My glorious gown! <laughs> glorious. Oh, I get it. LOL. You don't say LOL, you just laugh. And this isn't funny. I can't go to the party looking like this. My evening is ruined. Oh, no! I told you bugs bug me! Hey, nice job on the jailbreak. My plan worked. Your plan? I had to rescue you from your plan. That was my plan, plan D. And you did a great job, bro. Yeah, right. I'll race you home. Last one back is a slimy glowworm. I kind of thought they were cute. She wants you to stay here, but I can't. I gotta run with the pack. Aviva, do you have the... Arctic Wolf Power Disc? Right here. All right. Special delivery for the pack, Jimmy. All right. And so... a creature power suit of the Arctic. I feel like I can run forever with the pack. Be back soon, baby tooth. Here you go. Back with your mother, where you belong. Hey, Chris, this raccoon family needs a home, so we should show them that old, old raccoon, raccoon den. den. Yeah, I know. Aviva's already working on Creature discs are ready. <laughs> Great, Great minds think, think alike. <laughs> Activate raccoon power! Now let's find you a new home. And fast! We don't want to be late for the costume party tonight. Keep your eyes open, bro. We're gonna have to be stealthy if we want to get past the wolf pack. Whoa, dude! Did you have to yell? I'm not yelling. You're just hearing me through raccoon ears. They have super hearing. Huh? I guess that would explain it. Wait. I can hear the wolves. They must be close. The wolf den. It's just up ahead. We're gonna have to be extra sneaky now. You don't have to tell me. Tell them. Hey, where'd they go? Martin, I think we have to follow their lead. Yeah, the masters of the forest. Secretive, smart, with loads of abilities. Raccoon ninjas!
Uh-oh. Time to use these raccoon powers. You guys go ahead. We'll distract them raccoon style. We're excellent climbers. <laughs> and excellent swimmers. Hey, wolves. We can get into tight places and are great at hiding. And our amazing grabby hands can open up all sorts of locks. Ah! Oh, yeah. Made it. Raccoons, you're amazing all around creatures. Welcome home! Great job, Kratz. They were able to safely make it back to their new den thanks to your quick thinking. And a little raccoon power. Creature mission accomplished! Wow, Pacer. Not even the wolf can run you down. <laughs> this sack! Mine! Congratulations! You get to work for me! Come on, Prongfoot. I've got jobs that'll keep you running all day long. Run and get the mail, run and get me a lollipop. You run, run, run while I sit, sit, sit. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, no. Zach can't get away with this. Not if we can help it. Go, Risto! Speed and stamina to the creature rescue. Activate pronghorn power. Hey, Zach, huh? let Pacer go. Pronghorns belong running free and in the wild. No way! I don't like running! And soon, I'll never have to run again! But running's fun! And it keeps you healthy! The more you run, the better you run! Sorry, but I'm gonna win this race! You're way behind! Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Great idea, Pacer! so fast, Zack. I'm still not giving up my runner bot, so there! Are you really sure about that? Runners to the rescue! Ah! We've got to get out of here! Ah. Come on, Pacer, you're free! See ya, Zack. Don't forget to exercise! I'll get you next time, you wild rat! Okay, that's good. You can stop now, Bison! Uh, sorry. Hey, listen, I didn't mean to roll over you before. I couldn't move out of the way in time. What? Oh, you're not afraid of me. See, I knew I was going to get a bad reputation with lions. I'm the lion roller now. It's like the lion thinks the toughest animal in Africa is me. Wait, this doesn't make sense. Lions are ferocious, super tough predators. Why would they be afraid of you? Uh, Martin, you think you're tough, huh? Think you're really ferocious. Well, the lion does. Brother, it's not you. It's a honey badger. Oh, oh the honey badger is tough. So tough, a lion will think twice about tangling with him. Wow. That puts the honey badger right up there with the African honeybee on the tougher meter. Tie for now. Uh oh! Deactivate! Ow! Ah, uh, those are some strong jaws. I can even feel the pressure through my boot. Gila monsters are also one of the most venomous lizards in the world. And Martin's been bitten. Uh, Koki, wait! A venomous bite from the Gila monster. We need an emergency medical evacuation. I knew something would happen if we didn't leave on schedule. We have to get Martin back to the Tortuga and give him a Viva's anti-venom shot. Uh, but Cookie, I wasn't really bitten. I was... He hasn't bitten through my boot. It's just that he won't let go and... Uh, Jimmy? Cookie? Oh, yeah, this is an emergency. A big emergency. 
immobilize. Hey, don't worry, they heal them all. Immobilized. Oh no, he's mumbling. We've got to hurry. To the Tortuga, ambulance speed. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Guys. Martin's not hurt. Martin didn't get any venom from the Gila monster. So he doesn't need my anti-venom shot. Oh, I've got to catch up to them and fast. You might want to talk to the Roadrunner. Good idea, Viva. You know what speed limit? To save my brother from getting an unnecessary shot, I need some speed. I need to activate Roadrunner power. Want a lift? <laughs> sure. Let's go. Martin, do you know your name? What's your favorite color? How many flashlights am I holding up? <laughs> Can you feel anything when I do this? <laughs> it's no use. I can't understand him. <gasps> I'm not hurt. Yeah, you are. You were bitten by a venomous Gila monster. No, I wasn't. He's delirious. He needs Aviva's anti-venom shot to stop the poison. Uh, no, 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 wait. Look. The Gila monster didn't bite through my adventure boot. No bite, no venom. See? Oh. Stop! Wait! Martin wasn't bitten by a Gila monster. We know. Another thing I know is I've got both Crab Brothers back on the Tortuga, and I'm not letting them go. Lockdown. Makoki, we haven't completed our mission of discovering the identity of the mystery lizard. We can't leave the Sonoran Desert yet. Oh, yes, we can. We're going to get this Tortuga resupplied. Engage flying mode. Say goodbye to the Sonoran Desert. Uh, we can't say goodbye to the Sonoran Desert. What? Why? What are you up to? Oh, nothing. It's just that when I was running over here with my Roadrunner powers, I kind of caught the mystery lizard. <laughs> oh, a collared lizard. Of course. Way to go, bro! And I brought it here to show everybody. But I didn't think we'd be leaving right away. You see, we can't take this collared lizard away from his wild desert home. So what you're telling me is that we have to turn around and go back so that the collared lizard can be living free and in the wild? Exactly. Okay, fine. We'll go back to the Sonoran Desert, but only for five more minutes. Okay, fine. Sure, that's all we'll need. Eight, nine, no, wait, I counted you. Uh, nine, eleven, oh, forget it! Zackbots, listen up. Make more of those robot guppies, as many as you can, and just keep them coming. There, problem solved. Now, let's get back to making... <laughs> Money. Treasure. Ooh, with my picture on it. Zach, Zach, what is wrong with you? Ooh. Beautiful, sparkly coral jewel. I must have it. It's working, guys. All you need is the right lure. You sure are a master of disguise, Rocket Jaw. Pharmatech Gold. One of a kind, Danita Jewel. Now! Huh? My Aqua Jet. Where'd it go? It disappeared. Mine too. Vanished into thin air. Water, Donita. Vanished into thin water. Where are they? Why is everything disappearing around here? Hey! My remote! Ha <laughs> ha! Good one, Rocket Jaw. Ha! <laughs> the mouth is faster than the eye. Oh! Those wild rats! Where are they? And who's Rocket Jaw? We're right here, behind you. Very funny. Is this some kind of magic trick? Give me back my remote! Hey, Zach! Huh? Ta-da! Huh? No way! We needed to free those parrotfish, Zack. Then you can have it back. 
Hmm. Ugh. That's right. It's not nice what you're doing to them. And not only that, the coral is a living creature. You can't just bust it up and destroy it. You're not only hurting the coral polyps, but the millions of sea creatures that live here. Right, Rocket Jaw? Who cares? We don't even know what a polyp is. Check it out. They're the creatures all around you and- I don't care. Yeah, so give us the remote. Okay, but not until those parrotfish and polyps are free. Ah! Stop! My guppies! Ah, you're free! Okay, Aviva, control systems are shut down. Great, guys. Just in time. Freeing those polyps now. They're still alive and well, but we don't have much time. Let's get you polyps home. Now you can have your remote back, Zack. <laughs> oh, and we almost forgot. Your aqua jets, too. Huh? Ah! Ah! We'll get you, Wild Rats! Ah! That's, That's Wild Rats! With frogfish power! Insert creature power disc and... Activate giant squid power! Oh, now this is a true monster of the deep. A 12 meter long, multi-tentacled cephalopod. Giant squid power for a giant rescue! Look out! Red hot magma chunks! Oh! We gotta get out of here! Well, I can't break free! Keep trying, Jimmy! Use full power! I'm trying, but this dough is sticky! Look out, creature pals! If one of those rocks hits us, we're toast! To the creature rescue! You're free! Hey, Gourmand, these creatures don't want to be fried or boiled. Huh? Way to go, Chris! I brought reinforcements! Ta-da! Bumper's mom! Just in time. Activate sperm whale powers! Swim! Awesome! The power of one of the deepest diving mammals in the creature world. No! Those creatures are mine! No, they're not, Gourmand. They belong living free and in the deep. Guys, help! We can't break free! <laughs> Sperm whale powers to the Polponaut rescue! You better go too, Gourmand, or you'll get cooked! Whoa! Whoa! Abandoned ship! Oh, my poor sub! You can keep your deep sea creature for now! You thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah, we're thinking the same thing. To, to the, the new, new species! species. Him. He's gone. No, he can't be. He was right here. Guys, we gotta go back up. The Poponaut needs a detailed status check. Pronto. <sighs> Uh-oh. Coyote! That's one of the opossum's worst natural predators. I gotta help her. <gasps> oh, but I can't. Jill, look out! Whoa, she looks pretty tough. But opossums are all bluff and bluster. They're really not very tough at all. Oh, I wish I could help her. Of course, the amazing opossum trick defense. Play dead. Chris, <gasps> oh no, Jill. Don't worry, she's okay. She's playing dead. 
and it works. By pretending she's dead, the opossum shuts off the coyote's predator instinct. Most predators would rather not eat something that's already dead, so they end up leaving her alone. You're kidding! Now that opossum deserves an acting award. <laughs> Actually, she's not exactly pretending. It just happens automatically when the opossum's in trouble. She couldn't stop it if she wanted to. He's gone. Wake up, Jill! Jill? You can't wake an opossum up from this. They have to just come out of it themselves. Weird. Uh, could I get a hand with this rock? <laughs> Excuse me, anybody home? Hey, um, can you help us find a ten wreck? Oh, hey there, goblin. Oh, an I.I. power disk. Hey, I bet my brother left that with you, didn't he? Activate I.I. power! Look, another clue! Getting closer. Now, head east and let your finger lead you to the little beast. East, got it. Okay, so how would his finger lead us to a ten wreck? This is how. With her echolocation powers. If an eye eye can find insects hiding in hollow trees by tapping his finger like this and listening for the echo of something hiding inside, then I can use the same creature powers to search for a ten wreck hiding inside this log. Really? It's a hedgehog tenrec. That's tenrec number one. Congratulations! Yay! Yay! He's searching through the leaf litter, looking for worms, insects, beetles, fruits, and ooh, he found a cockroach. Yum! Yuck! I'm not crazy about what he eats, but he sure is cute. Super cute. He's a cutie cute. <laughs> What's with the prickly fur? Protection. That's why he rolls up into a ball. He just becomes a ball of spines. And nobody likes to eat a mouthful of spines. Right, Spike Ball? Well, we're doing great. One ten wreck down, four more to go. Yep, this treasure hunt will be no problemo. Where's the next clue, Chris? Chris? Do you see a gecko? Then I could activate gecko powers and climb out of here easy. No geckos. But look at this. There's a hole here. Hmm. And an aardvark. Hey, and I think that's Slurpee's mom. It is. And Slurpee. Aardvarks are the most powerful diggers on the African savanna. Don't you mean under? <laughs> yeah, under. The most powerful digger under the African savanna. And I have right here. An aardvark power disc! Uh, I just can't reach! Uh, too hard! Uh, these walls are termite mound construction! Yeah, the biggest part of a termite mound is actually underground. And only aardvark powers could dig through. Hi, guys. We've got all our supplies and we're heading back. You having a good time? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're having a great time. Oh, yeah, the savannah's the place to be. Well, that doesn't look like the savannah to me. You're sure you're not in trouble? Us? In trouble? No, no way. way! Uh, okay. We'll see you soon. Uh-oh, the gang is on their way back. If we're gonna get out of this ourselves, we better get out now. Otherwise, they're gonna have to rescue us. Huh? Termites! Bro, termites in your pockets? They must be from when I was bitten earlier. And that's a good thing. Aardvarks eat a lot, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, check this out. I've got some nice, tasty termites for ya. So, Slurpee's mom, you hungry? Yes! Activate Aardvark Powers! <laughs> K 
Can you dig it? Oh, yeah! Ooh, hey, thanks for your aardvark help. Ooh. You aardvarks are shy and solitary creatures, but can you dig or what? Come on, everybody, follow me! Zack's gonna run those rhinos into the ground. We've got to stop him. Look, I got us into this mess. I've gotta get us out. Okay, I'm pretty sure there was a mud wallow around here. I remember seeing it too. It's past the baobab tree and then east to the water hole. First, I'm gonna need help from this lion cub. Activate creature power suit. Now, I need you to help me pull this off, Nubs. <laughs> to the creature rescue! Yo, rhinos! Look what I got! That's it. Protective rhino instinct overriding Zack control. Follow me! So that's how you want to play. your help now, Nubs. And not only will your mom respond to your call, but other rhinos will. Right on, Nubs. You can't stop me, wild rat, so give up now. Rhinos can't take much more. I gotta get Zack's remote. Here's some rhino power, Chris. say you can't keep a rhino out of the mud let the rhinos roll ah, help I'm contaminated somebody save me Later, Zach. Don't come by any time. Oh, yeah. Saving the planet with creature power. Aviva, there's a Zackbot hiding at the time trampoline. <laughs> Hang on, Aviva. We'll be right there. <gasps> oh, no. We're too late. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to jump back to the future. Zackbot, you disintegrate the trampoline after I've gone through, leaving you all here in the past! <laughs> oh, no! Yay! Hurry, Chris. Grab Zack and bounce him out of here. I'll rescue Aviva. <laughs> oh. Let's bounce, Zack! Can't hold much longer! I'll give you a hand! Nothing would be worse for endangered species than you making trouble in the past! See ya! Well, that was weird. Yeah, Zack rescued us. It's getting closer to it! If Zack really wants to disintegrate something, why not his own invention? Time's up, Zack Bot! Whoa, thanks! No problem. Yeah! Are you guys okay? Bro, the time jump connection is destabilizing. We need to get on the trampoline and start jumping now, or it will be too late. Oh, no. I can't say goodbye to little X and his family. We've got to go. Remember what we taught you guys. Keep away from humans. Wait, wait, wait. I don't have to say goodbye. Let's take them with us. What? If they're going to survive on their own, we can't take a whole family away. Every single Tasmanian tiger is precious now in this time. Oh, OK. Quick, let's go. I'm going to miss these guys. Oh, bro. Are you trying to smuggle a Tasmanian tiger back to the future? Uh, <laughs> yeah, kind of. Oh, but I think little X wants to stay here with his family. And I just realized something. We spend all our time reuniting rescued baby animals with their moms. How could I ever take one away? Good luck, little X. Have a nice long life. Guys, hurry! The time connection is falling apart! We have to divert maximum power to keep the time jump open. It might destroy the time trampoline, but it's the only way to get us back. Do it. Here goes. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> it's closing behind us. Climb, bro, climb. How do you do that in a time connection? I don't know. Swim, fly, run! Ah, yes. There's nothing like a little Tortuga breakdown. Yep, a great excuse for a creature adventure. And hey, out here, you never know what creatures you'll uncover. Like that. A m -m -m mud monster. It's not just one. It's a whole swarm of creatures. Uh-oh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, we'd better charge out of here or we'll get a jolt from these... Electric, electric eels! eels. Stop! <laughs> yeah. The electric! Guys, easy. You didn't have to zap us. Bro, can you believe it? <laughs> I am so charged up! In more ways than one, we actually found some electric eels! That is awesome! Oh, whoa! These eels pack a powerful shock. And I don't even think they gave us all they've got. Was it you? Hmm. Well, I think I'll call you Voltage. Get it? Volts? Like how much energy a battery holds. Bart, he's an electric eel, not a battery. Hmm. How does your e-electricity work anyway? Investigating Creature Mystery. Set it to sense electrical charges. Ah, those three special body parts are all making electrical charges. Chris, check it out. He's doing something. Straightening out real long in the water. And look, that body part is activated. It's sending out an electrical charge. Just a low voltage one, not a high voltage shocking one. Voltage, what are you up to? Something is in the electrical field. Something's coming close. Over there. Piranha! Piranha? Huh? 
The other two body parts. They're activating now. They must be... Uh-oh! Martin, look out! Whoa! Whoa, that's shocking. It's electric. <laughs> we just saw the electric eel shock power in action. The shock was too much for the piranha. It paralyzed him. He couldn't move. And that's how the eel catches his prey. Amazing. Now I know why electric eels don't have teeth. They don't need them. They catch prey with shocking power. So they use a little electrical charge to sense things around them, like incoming prey. Exactly. And that comes from this body part. And they use a strong electrical pulse to give a powerful shock. And that comes from these two body parts. Don't dive now. There he is. Dive now! Activate sea turtle powers! Okay, let's go find that master key. It fell somewhere near that giant brain coral. Keep your eyes peeled for that tiger shark. Look, the key landed here, but then disappeared. Check it out, Chris. Tracks of a crab or lobster or something. It walked right by the key, maybe picked it up. Why would a crab or lobster pick up a key? And how? I don't know, but it's the only lead we've got. Come on, let's follow these tracks. Looks like a lobster to me. Nah, I'm going with the big old crab. Lobster, crab. There it is. Yeah, it's a crab. <laughs> a spiny crab, but big as a lobster. And she has the master key. <gasps> Tiger, Tiger shark. shark. And we look exactly like his favorite prey. Take evasive maneuvers. With you, bro. I'll lead him away. And I'll get the master key. All right, I'll just grab the key. <gasps> oh, no. I don't have hands, I have flippers. How am I gonna grab the key? I don't know, bro, but figure it out, fast! I can't shake this shark! Uh, shield defense! <clears throat> this shark is hungry. Hurry, bro! Chris, you're lucky that we modeled the suit on the Hawksbill turtle. They have two claws on their flippers. Check it out. Oh, yeah. The Hawksville doesn't use them for much, but you can. I'll use them to hook the bungee of the master key. Got it. Martin, I have the key. Meet you at the Tortuga. I'll be there, bro, just as soon as I get this tiger shark off my back. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey, let's get out of here, bro. Yeah, two shark attacks is way too much for one day. Hey, check it out. There is such a thing as flying turtles. Anybody looking for the master key to the Tortuga? Tortuga online. Okay, Jimmy, let's take her for a test drive. Diving. It's working! We did it! Yeah, sea turtle mode is the best. I wonder what Shield thinks. Ah, uh, that this is the biggest sea turtle he's ever seen. And the new Tortuga swim mode is really going to help us explore the oceans of the world. And meet all kinds of new creatures. Da, da, da. Gonna put some over here and... Oh, oh, no, you don't! You belong right here in my pot! <laughs> huh? What in the world? 
Not you two again! What are you doing here? Oh, uh, we're here to stop you from cooking up our fellow hermit crabs. <laughs> Good luck. Won't need luck because, because we've, we've got, got hermit crab, crab powers. powers. Hold on, Gourmand. You're just a couple of oversized entrees. All right, who's first? Well, it's only fair we take them on one at a time. Fair's fair. After you, bro. No, you first. I insist. Cool. Oh. No more flipping pancakes for you. How about I crack some claws? <laughs> Stick to pancakes. Oh, yeah. Nice one, bro. Hey, Picky. Don't worry, buddy. I'll get you guys out of here. Take this. Yeah. Uh oh. Whoa. Okay, now it's my turn. <laughs> you might surprise the first Crab Brother once, but not the other Crab Brother twice. You need to work on your slogans. I do, huh? Should it rhyme? Probably. No crab is stronger than me. I'm on a special vitamin program. Well, <clears throat> hermit crab powers are all Natural. Okay, I'm closing early today. Everything's back to normal, Picky, my pal. Hermit crabs back to where they belong, living free and in the wild, on the land and in the sea. Uh-oh, let's get out of here. Wait, don't run. Right. She'll see us as prey. Nothing triggers a predator like prey on the run. We need the power of the pack. Activate wolf power! Nobody's gonna mess with us in our wolf power suits. Uh, tell that to the cougar. Thanks for the hairbrushing. Oh, we can't beat her in the short game for long. Switch to marathon running. On your mark, it's a go! She's tiring. A sprinter like her can't keep up the pace for long. Now we've got the cougar beat because we wolves are marathoners. Wow, I feel so light, like I could run like this forever. That's the power of the wolf. <coughs> Amazing. <coughs> We've only been wolves for two minutes, and already a raven has found us. Well, if he found us, he can find other wolves. And maybe lead us right to Little Howler's pack. <coughs> Follow that raven. Brothers following that raven. This is awesome. It's like a wolf man, and the raven is my sidekick. Maybe the raven thinks it's the other way around. But either way, because wolves and ravens are so tight, I don't think it'll be too long before this raven leads us right to the pack's <gasps> new den site. Uh oh. We forgot to consider one very important point of wolf behavior. A wolf pack doesn't like strange wolves. Our only hope is to speak wolf language. How's it going? Hmm. Bro, that accent won't do it. Well, what? Huh. Sit. Roll over. Petrix? How are Petrix gonna save us? Body language. Wolf body language. Yeah, by acting submissive, a wolf can turn off an attack from another wolf if they recognize us as one of their own. And because we activated touching little Howler, we smell familiar, like a pack member. 
We are in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chris, Martin, what about little Howler? <laughs> now we're talking. Oh, howling. That's what wolves do to keep the pack together. With our little wolf puppy howling free and in the wild. Oh, oh, oh. 